stretch four. We'll see him in a lot of capacities. There's a big three from Frankie Hughes. Boy, the Dukes needed that. Dunn Martin blows by Evans, now pulls up as the Dukes set up for this offensive set. We haven't heard from Eric Williams in a bit. Floats it over to Bazot, who's open again. Cox fires, hits for a third time. Oh no, Gavin Bazot, three of three, the last three trips down the floor, and BCU will call a timeout before the media break. Hughes' is second free throw, no good, but it's tapped back out to him by Weathers, who gets the pass from Hughes, oh. and the dunk! Now they're keeping a much closer eye on Bazot, if you notice that after that eight point spurt that he yeah. had. Dunn Martin, another three oh. and one! For the second time in this game, Tavian Dunn Martin fouled beyond the three-point arc. No fast break here. Bounce pass into the corner for Hughes. Another! And BCU's got a call timeout. They were trying to get to the media timeout and they can't make it. The trap comes high, Sims will chase Dunn Martin. How about that difficult shot? And their athleticism and their skill and their defense wearing down the, the shorthand of Dukes right now. Hey, Tim. They've been gritty. They're in this thing. Oh, look at that feed. The alley-oop and the backhand slam behind the head. I'm, I'm sure that's going to be a lot of the talk afterwards. Especially with the thumb injury. Dunn Martin way outside. Right, he looked tired on that one. Yeah, got the legs into that shot. Yep. Now Dunn Martin tried to go baseline, but... Cut off by Evans, enough room to find Hughes though, and here we go again. Three's coming in bunches and it's down to four.